Hi folks and thanks for joining me. You can see here I'm back on the Crossley 718B and just a little housekeeping here. You can see I've got that tapped volume control that uh, I built. And uh, you'll notice the uh, shaft itself on the uh, this particular modern day potentiometer is extremely short. And uh, we need to extend that. And uh, so that's what we're going to do here. And I'll show you one technique that can be used. This particular uh, Crosley radio, you can see, has a set screw. So uh, each situation may be just a little bit different. But, uh, I'll just show you a technique that's uh, worked for me in the past that uh, I'll replicate here. So I wanted to make certain that I had the uh, right length, of course, uh, shaft. And here I'm just doing some uh, quick measurements here just to uh, use the uh, existing knob here on the uh, shaft here that goes back to the band select switch. So I have a uh, reference point here on the uh, length of uh, brass tubing that we'll cut. And it's uh, 930 seconds of an inch. That's the outer diameter and that gives me an inside diameter uh, right at one fourth of an inch or just a little bigger. So um, that works perfect here for uh, creating the extension. Each particular uh, knob may be different. Again, this one has the uh, set screw, so I'm going to leverage that. And uh, I want to understand, of course, the uh, depth itself of the inside of the uh, knob. So I can make sure that my uh, shaft extension is the correct length, which I've already done. That being, again, 30 millimeters, so I'll just go cut this real quick with some tubing cutters. Then uh, we'll come back and uh, cut a uh, small slit in here. You can see here by uh, using the tubing cutters, even though I was applying very light pressure and just rotating around, it bevels the end. But uh, no big deal. I'll just go back here and uh, use a, a quarter inch uh, drill bit and uh, just drill this out real quick. Uh, just on one side only. Trying to be as cautious as possible there, just drilling that out just a little bit to get rid of the uh, tapered edge. And the other end, I said I would not drill because I'm going to just cut a, a notch in it here in just a second. But uh, that's a nice uh, tight fit there on the uh, shaft itself. So you can see here, I'm going to just uh, take my uh, cutters here. And this is on the end that has the uh, bevel go up in here as far as I can. And uh, just cut there. And you don't have to worry about the accuracy. And I'm going to go over just maybe a little over an eighth of an inch. Do the same. And then uh, just remove this uh, section here that we just uh, cut out. And now you can see I've got a, a nice opening there. And uh, let me grab my uh, needle nose uh, pliers here. And all I'm going to do is just take this and uh, just form it. Try to do this where you guys can see it on camera, but I think you get the idea. I'm going to just narrow the uh, diameter at this point. And uh, bring this together at this end. And then I'm going to take it back over to the uh, vise itself and uh, slide it in the vise itself just to make sure that the uh, shaft here itself is as flat as possible and uh, not out of round that doesn't look too bad and then the uh, set screw itself once we get this on will come down and make contact right here inside of the uh, groove area which will help hold the uh, knob itself uh, back to the shaft in this case since we have a uh, set screw. And you can see here just a little bit of uh, filing just to uh, tweak things as needed. Now one may choose to drill a uh, set screw or something in the shaft there of uh, both your, your new shaft and your existing uh, potentiometer shaft. This is actually nice and tight and I'm actually able to uh, turn the uh, receiver off and uh, back on as well. And my uh, length here it seems to be uh, spot on as well. Just using uh, this one for reference or so from the uh, outside of the knob right at 40 millimeters or so. And I'm really close here as well. Dab of uh, epoxy on the uh, shaft itself and set it in there. 
and uh, be done with it. But uh, just one method and procedure that could be used here to extend the uh, shaft. There's uh, numerous ways to uh, handle that situation when it occurs. Folks, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to look here at uh, how I tapered that off there and uh, cut things. With the uh, set screw itself going somewhat down in that groove just to uh, create some holding power.